Welcome back. Baseball cards in general and sports cards in general is big business these days. And joining me to talk more about the business of dealing cards is Brian Catequette. Brian, welcome to the show. Thank you. First, I want to talk to you about your career, how you got started in this business. Well, I started in the business as a dealer when I was 12 years old. Uh, I started collecting cards, uh, saving my weekly allowance here on Flatbush Avenue. There was a baseball card store, and the owner had tons of old material. And from that day on, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. So at age 12, I started setting up at local uh, card shows in the New York City area to get exposure, and that's where I stand today. I'm known as the uh, biggest dealer in New York City for vintage baseball cards, and I'm one of the leading experts in the country. Explain vintage baseball cards to us as far as you said before 76 and, and after 76. That was a basically some sort of timeline? Yeah, well, vintage baseball cards is considered from the 19th century. First baseball cards that were ever produced were from 1887 into uh, 1975. We, we labeled that as vintage because there, li there were a limited amount of cards produced. From 76 on, uh, the manufacturer started producing more and more cards, and which, which makes it a higher supply and which m doesn't make it valuable to the collector. So we consider vintage baseball cards, well, I consider from 75 down, especially into the pre-1950, w which is where my, uh, my expertise is in. As far as some of the cards you have available with you right now, explain some of those cards. Well, the card I have right here is the uh, first baseball card ever uh, produced. It's an example. It's an 1887. It's called Old Judge Cigarettes. Back in the 19th century, baseball cards were inserted into cigarette packs. And uh, this is called a tobacco card, which is called a tobacco card. So these are how the first baseball cards uh, looked. And this is a star player. This card's worth about 3000 And then uh, we get into more modern you know, more of a modern day players. You have Jackie Robinson. This is a 1955 top Jackie Robinson, which uh, maybe the viewing public can relate to more. And this is uh, Ted Williams. They consider him the greatest hitter of all time. That's his last year card, 1958. Mm -hmm. And then if we go way back into the history of the cards, this is called a, uh, it's called a CDV card. These, this card is from circa 1870s. These are how baseball cards were first produced. This is a picture player of a ball player mounted on a cardboard stock. So this is circa 1870s. And, uh, the, you know, I guess uh, relating to this, it, this is how cards were created. There were no teams back then. But this is a photographic image of a player on a cardboard stock. So this is how really baseball cards started. Why were cards created? Was it to give publicity to the game, publicity to a certain player, or what? Yeah, well, uh, publicity to the game. Also, back uh, back in the 19th century, you had tobacco companies competing against one another, so they would insert cards to produce their sales, uh, you know, to produce revenue. So that's how come, uh, you know, if, plus baseball has always been popular, so uh, people would always buy the packs of tobacco and then take the, the, the card out and hand it to their kids. And, you know, the game has always been popular, which is uh, why the business is very, very big today. It's a multi-million dollar business today.